Well, China did their one-child policy in 79, so wait. You knew it was coming. Uh, selective abortions result in 32 million excess males in China. Yes, and, Mr. Yeah, and they, they are saying that men are going to have to fight for wives because uh, men in first births outnumber women four to one, and then if there is a second birth, they outnumber them uh, 92 to one. Whoa. So, so they're killing off the female population. Mm -hmm. they got 32 million more males now in the culture than females. Mm -hmm. and, and let me tell you something, the thing that people aren't thinking about here is the potential for this to lead to wars. Mm -hmm. When you have excess male populations in a culture like that, uh, it's happened in, in previous generations where girl babies were killed, um, and those, those countries turn out to be warlike because they, they're going to go outside the country if they have to. Yeah. And it's an imbalance that will remain for decades. Yeah, okay. see, that's yeah. the other thing that people mm -hmm. don't think about when they, when they monkey with populations like this. Even if you jump up one day and say, oh, we've got a problem. The problem is that it, even once you recognize it, it takes decades to solve it. It'll take another whole couple of generations to go through it. Yeah, to solve that problem. Did, did it say in the article um, that the Chinese government is trying to address the problem at all, or are they just letting this continue? It's just continuing. Uh, their, uh, their government's one-child policy, general parents who had a second child were liable to, play, to pay a fine. So... Uh, see, see this, to me, this is the hypocrisy of the women out there, the National Organization of Women and other yeah, groups. Yeah, who are they? Why aren't they you mouthing know, off? Man, I mean, good, my goodness, I get upset every time we talk about blacks and getting abortions. <laughs> Where are these folks talking about? Should they be? I mean, they should be just screaming yes, about they women. And what's going to happen? I've thought too. If there are so few women, are men going to be so desperate to have wives or? Uh, uh, an heir that they're going to rape and, you know, do whatever that needs to be done to the women. And where are the those now cows that scream for women's rights? They don't really care about women's they rights. Don't. I mean, they they care that's, about that's the baseline. Either. They don't that's care right. about women's rights. They're right. all about front abortion. for abortion. It's abortion and a few other lesbian rights and sure. transgender and all this and nonsense. And now they're into global warming. That's global their new warming. thing. They've got a little political <laughs> agenda. It has nothing to do with women's rights. Lesbians nothing. are better for the environment <laughs> right. than yeah, right. heterosexuals because heterosexuals reproduce. So right. it's better yeah, to be well, a lesbian. Men, so it's always yeah. better, right. you know, to get rid of the men. Um, which, by the way, they should be whining about that because they hate men so much Just and now that's, they're taking over the world. <laughs> Yeah, um, eight men. So in China, gets an extra population. Of oh, they are, they are hypocrites. Yeah, Not on that, they are dumb hypocrites. Yes, right. <laughs> right. They are so, dumb hypocrites. Dumb. Anytime the you got kind. somebody walking, they knock it off the women and the very women who you supposed to be standing up for. Mm -hmm. You don't like men, and your men are outnumbering because of the position. You, that's right. That's dumb. Uh huh. Right. That's right.